RPCS3 has come a long way over the last few years. It's picked up a lot of improvements and new features, but there's one feature in particular that's become much more practical and useful, and still doesn't get the attention it deserves. Save states are one of those things that once you get used to them, you'll probably wonder how you ever played without them, especially if you enjoy tough games like Demon's Souls. To make that a bit more concrete, let's stick with Demon's Souls for a moment, because it's a great example of how powerful save states can be. This game is famous for being unforgiving. Checkpoints are strict, enemies hit hard, and if you die you can easily lose a lot of progress. That's part of the charm, but it can also be pretty brutal. So imagine you're working your way through the first area, you're about to face the vanguard, that early boss where a lot of players die on their first try. Instead of dying, you can stand right in front of the fog gate, get yourself ready, and create a safe state at that exact spot. If things go badly, you just reload and you're instantly back at the boss entrance, ready to try again. Now let's talk about how to actually create a save state in RPCS3. The easiest way and the one I recommend is with a controller. While you're in game, press the home button to open the RPCS3 menu. Then go to the save state section and choose save emulation state. The emulator might pause for a moment while it saves and then you're done. If if you'd rather use a keyboard or you don't have a controller connected, you can also press Ctrl plus S to create a save state. Sometimes things don't go perfectly and RPCS3 might crash while it's creating a save state. The good news is that most of the time save state itself still works. So if it crashes right after you save, don't panic. I'll show you a bit later in the video what to do if that happens. Also, just so you know, in one of the recent updates, RPCS3 added 4 separate save state slots, so it's not like before where every new save state would overwrite the previous one. Now you can have up to 4 different save states per game, and you can even choose which slot to load from. We'll talk about how that works in practice in just a second. So now that we've created a save state, let's look at how to load it. There are two main situations, loading a save state before you start the game, and honestly, the more useful one, loading a save state while you're already inside the game. First, let's say RPCS3 has crashed while saving, or you're just on the main window looking at your list of games. To boot straight into a save state from there, go ahead and find a game in your list and then right click on it. In the menu that pops up, look for boot with last save state. If you want to choose a specific save state, you can use choose save state to boot and pick the one you want to load based on the time it was created. Once you boot that save state, RPCS3 will load that snapshot and drop you right back into the exact moment you saved. So if your save state was right in front of the red-eyed knight, that's exactly where your game will load. The second scenario, which is the one I use the most, is when you're already playing and you want to load your save state without going back to the main menu. In that case, press the home button on your controller again to bring up the RPCS3 overlay menu, navigate back into the save state section just like you did when you were creating the save state. This time instead of choosing the save option, select reload last emulation state or pick another slot if you've saved more than once. You also have access to other three save slots here. Each time you create a new save state, RPCS3 moves to the next slot. And once all four are used, the oldest one gets overwritten. As as soon as you confirm loading the save state, the emulator will rewind everything and drop you back into that saved moment. Now, as powerful as save states are, there are a couple of things to keep in mind. The main one is don't make a save state while the game is saving or installing. If you see a save icon or the game writing to the hard drive, just wait, because saving in the middle of that can create a broken state and cause crashes. It's also a good idea to combine save states with normal in-game saves. Don't rely on save states for everything. Every now and then save the game the regular way, so if the save state ever breaks or an update makes it unstable, you still have a normal game save to fall back on. And finally, try to keep RPCS3 fairly up to date. And that's it for this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.